Hello everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new here, this channel is all about my obsession with becoming the healthiest, happiest, best version of yourself from the inside out. Firstly, I just wanna say a big thank you for all of the love on my last video. If you haven't watched it and want to, it's all about my fitness journey from the very beginning to now. So it might be useful just for some context going into this video, which is gonna be all about how I switched from basically eating whatever I wanted to a whole foods, unprocessed anti-inflammatory diet. I say to go and watch the other video because it kind of explains why I made the shift over. And primarily the reason was to feel better in myself, but as a result of switching, I also lost over 10 kilograms without tracking my calories. My skin is glowing. I literally feel the best I've ever felt in my life. And I can honestly say that is down to what I am putting into my body, food wise. <laughs> So first off, I think it would be useful to explain what a whole foods unprocessed diet is. And I just wanna start off with a disclaimer, just to say that I'm not a nutritionist, I'm not a dietitian. this is just what works for me. So a whole foods unprocessed diet is basically a diet where all of the food is in as close as its natural state as possible. I also think of it as, can I make this at home? with the ingredients that are listed. If I can't, or if I don't understand what the ingredients are when I look at the label, I don't touch it. And when I say I also eat an anti-inflammatory diet, it's a bit of a mouthful to say the whole thing all in one go. But what I mean by that is I really focus on anti-inflammatory principles. So focusing on foods that really help with inflammation. I can go into more detail in another video about anti-inflammatory foods, but some examples are blueberries, salmon, apple cider vinegar, walnuts, there's loads of them, avocados, and these are all things that I try my best to include in my diet as much as possible. I touched upon briefly why I made the switch and it was to feel better because I've dabbled in all sorts of diets over my time, <laughs> over my long 30 years, and the way that I feel best is eating in this way. I also, I watched, a, I think his name's John Mayer, um, I think he used to go out with Jennifer Aniston, but I basically, I watched a clip of him on TikTok recently that I feel like kind of summarized my reason for switching my diet, and he's speaking about his sobriety, and he, I, I'm, probably misquoting here, but he basically said that why would you live your life operating at 60% or 80%? Why would you want to wake up every single day with a hangover? Why would you want to wake up feeling crap in your body? And that's exactly why I personally made the switch because I want to wake up every day feeling the best that I possibly can. And if, that's, if that takes something as simple as what I'm eating and what I'm cooking, then I'm willing to put in the work to do that. So now that we've established how I eat, and I can go again into more detail in another video if you want me to, about specifically the things that I do eat, I'm just gonna talk about how, here are some tips basically as to how you can make the switch yourself. So tip number one, one <laughs> is to do your own research. Yes, of course, it's great to take advice from people who you admire, but don't just watch my YouTube video and follow it religiously. Go out, do your own research, buy books, watch content and make your own decisions. One thing about me is I love to read and I always have a couple of books on the go at any one time. Probably shouldn't, probably should just focus on one thing at a time, but I just get really excited. And so I just thought I would show you a couple of the books that I'm reading at the moment um, that are about nutrition and my diet. So one that I bought very recently and I'm about a third of the way through, I fold the pages. I know that's blasphemy, but sue me. So this book is called Ultra Processed People and it's by Chris Van Tulliken. It's very sciencey, and there's quite a lot of background into the history of ultra processed food, but it's very interesting. And from what I've read so far, it gives really good context as to 
how food in modern day is basically effing us all up. So as I said, I haven't read it all yet, but I'm kind of hoping it goes into a little bit more detail into like practical tips. So whenever you're out and about how you can decipher if something is ultra processed and what to avoid. Another book I am loving at the minute, which is a recipe book, which is quite rare for me because typically I'm not known as someone who likes to cook, but I'm really, really, really trying very hard at the moment. I've got loads of sticky notes in here and she's actually, so her name is Alyssa Rossi. Sorry if I'm butchering that name, but it's called Happy Skin Kitchen and it's all about a whole foods plant-based diet for great skin. I personally, I'm not 100% plant-based. I still eat meat, red meat in moderation, lots of fish, but I like the premise of her book. I like that she packs in loads of color into her recipes, loads of plants, and that's exactly what I try and do in mine. Tip number two to switch to a whole foods diet is to keep a food diary and look at your diet as it is right now in all honesty. So I want you to read the labels of everything that you're eating, not necessarily about the macros and the calories that are in it, but more specifically what's in it in terms of ingredients. I think you'll be really surprised by how, what you might consider to be health foods, how much crap they put in it basically. And that leads me on quite nicely to tip number three, which is, to read labels and to learn how to read labels. So I'm too much of a goody two shoes to have anything that's ultra processed in my home, but I do have a really good example of a, so basically a lot of plant milks, although you think that they're healthy, they have a lot of stuff in it, which is highly processed. And so I go for this brand. None of this is sponsored, by the way. I'd love them to sponsor me, but it's absolutely not sponsored. So this brand, Plenish. So if we look at the ingredients, where are you? Oh, here we go. So the ingredients in this, spring water, organic almonds, and sea salt. So there's literally three ingredients in there, all of which I know what they are. And then tip number four is to go through every cupboard, go through your fridge, the drawer next to your bed, where you keep all your midnight snacks and have a complete clear out, get rid of all of the ultra processed food, all of the stuff that you know just doesn't make you feel good. And I know that could be really painful and it's a lot of money and if that is a concern to you, then I would suggest finishing what you have in the cupboard so that it's not wasteful. And that's a whole other conversation about the socioeconomic concerns when it comes to ultra processed food. And in the book, Ultra Processed People, it actually touches upon how that impacts obesity in our society and how poorer people suffer more, which is so dreadfully sad, but it, it is true it does cost a little bit more and it is an investment in yourself to make a switch to organic produce and um, to whole foods. So tip number five, once you've eaten everything that's in your cupboards or once you've just put it in the bin, now is the time to replenish and to go on a food shop. And how I do my food shop, so I live on my own, which makes it trickier to buy food in bulk because I hate waste and I don't want to buy a load of food in because it's better value and then it all goes off anyway. So what I do once a week is I do an Ocado food shop and I know you might think that that sounds really bougie but a lot of the big supermarkets the minimum spend for delivery is 40 quid anyway and so I would rather spend £40 on good quality produce that does me the whole of the week rather than get better value, but it's a load of food that I wouldn't eat and it would go off anyway. So I have actually just done my food shop yesterday and I would say that 90% of the things on the list of what I have bought are plants. So you've got broccoli, kale, mushrooms, lemons, 
I'd like to switch it up, but what I do and what you can do in the app is create a food shop list. So all of the foods that I love, all the beans, pulses, all the whole foods, and then every week I can kind of just switch it up because variety is the spice of life, but it's also really good in terms of your gut health. So it's not just a question of eating the same things every day because they're healthy. You want to make sure that you're getting a vast variety and color into your diet. I have so many video ideas, but again, I can do another video on exactly what is in my food shop. But now I'm just having a look at the other things that I bought in this week's food shop. So I also bought proteins. So I treated myself to a steak this week. I've bought eggs, I've bought salmon, anchovies, black beans. So yeah. And finally, tip number six is once, so once all of your food is in the cupboards, once it's all packed away nicely in the fridge, it's about balancing your plate. I just want to say as well, I don't personally track calories, but if you are someone who does, that is absolutely fine, whatever works for you. Obviously, if you are trying to lose weight, a calorie deficit is important, but because I have done literally every diet under the sun, I kind of know what calories are in what. And so now, because I'm at the point where my only goal really is to look my best and feel my best, I am not really too concerned about the calories, and instead I'm looking at the nutritional properties of the food that I'm putting in my body, and how so what i'm eating is this going to make me feel better or is it going to make me feel worse that's the only question i ask myself so when it comes to my meals i always think of it and i always tell my clients this i think of my plate in thirds so i try to balance my plate by having a third healthy protein so as i just listed whether that's steak whether that's eggs salmon and then another third i look at a complex carbohydrate so this could be sweet potato, potato. I recently bought some chickpea pasta that I love and it's really nice. And then I would say a third, but it's probably more like a third to a half is what I would fill the rest of my plate up with veggies. I would also make sure that I include some healthy fats in there. So whether that's extra virgin olive oil, whether that's avocado, because we want glowy, glowy skin. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think, what videos you want to see from me. Please like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it and have a lovely, lovely day.